Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Butler, I want you to collect everything in the house and place it on or near the sink. No exceptions. Such a bossy lady. That's the way she sounds in my head. Hello, everybody. I am Kindly Kian, and welcome back to Granny's house. This is Rich Granny's house. Uh, she seems to have won the lottery and uh, decided to make her house out of gold and hundred dollar bills because Granny's a bala now. But I was thinking, you know, what does every super rich old lady need a butler that's what they need and so that's what granny has done she's captured us dragged us to our home and forced us into being her butler and it's a tough job but someone's gotta do it so yeah we're granny's butler today so we have to do all kinds of tasks for granny and the first thing that granny has asked us to do is to take everything that she owns, at least all the stuff that she keeps around the house, you know, all the knickknacks, talking about like puzzle pieces and whatnot. She wants them to be placed in her kitchen sink, which is very strange. But, you know, I mean, she's the boss. She's the lady with all the money. And oh my gosh, she's coming after us. Okay, you know what? This, this, I don't, I don't, I, I, I'm getting stuck on the cardboard. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go up here. So we have to collect all of the weird stuff that Granny has all over her house, like keys and whatnot. Look at this nice little mannequin. That's, that's very pretty, Granny. You've done well for yourself, making a house out of gold. What is that? Is that a golden spider? You know what it is? If you guys played Ocarina of Time, that's the golden sculptula. Yeah, there are golden sculptulas all over the place. Maybe it is? I don't think it is, though. But I'm gonna go with that. All right, Granny wants her her money painting apparently, so we'll we'll get her that, and she wants it in the kitchen sink, which is such a weird thing to do. But okay, you're the boss. You're the boss, Granny. All right, here we go. We're gonna just drop that right there. Okay, good enough. She's she's not making this easy. This is some kind of game to her, I guess. Get out of here. Okay, we're outside. What? She has a wall made of precious gemstones. And her entire backyard is made of, like, golden coins. Granny, did you just rob a pirate? A very successful pirate? Is that what's going on here? Let's grab this cogwheel. Okay, go down. Go, 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 go. Okay, what is this? Why? What kind of gems are these? What color is a green gem? What, what's a green gem? I don't know. What is that? <laughs> a VIP? This is my VIP ticket? Let's let's see what what's inside the VIP ticket. I got the gold ticket. There's nothing I can do with this VIP ticket. Granny, you lost your, your ticket to the gala. You know, the art gala that you were invited to? Your ticket was down in the basement. I still haven't figured out what this wall is made out of. What is this gem? So there's, there's sapphires, which are blue. And then there's rubies, which are red. Are those the only two that I know? Emerald! They're emeralds. Of course they are. Okay, so she has a... She has an entire room made out of emeralds. All right, Granny, I'm, I'm just gonna take this upstairs. I, I'm doing what you asked me to do. I'm gonna take everything to the kitchen sink, because that's what you want. I'm gonna go around this way, though, so that you don't hear me. I don't actually know where she is right now, which is kind of scary. Okay, let's see if we can actually get this in the sink. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. And then grab this one, and then get that in the, the that, that didn't go in the sink. Come on, go. No! Granny! You covered me with gold. You see that? That was- I was turned into gold. She's so elegant and wonderful and- and loaded down with money that she turns other people into gold. It's amazing. Here's an interesting fact. 97% of the poor and 30% of the rich eat fast food. That's such a random thing. Also, just so you guys know, if you haven't noticed already, this is a Beggy Joe's a mod. He made this, and it's pretty sweet. I always appreciate a Beggy Joe's mods, because he, he adds nice little details that other mod creators don't necessarily do. Like, for instance, when we're standing next to the bed, you see that bed? That's a bed of luxury. That's a bed made out of gold and, and silk and satin. Ah, yes. The finest. Probably incredibly uncomfortable, but... 
it looks really expensive. And really, that's what matters, right? That's what's most important in life, is making sure that your stuff looks expensive, but is actually completely impractical and has no purpose of existing. Obviously, I don't really mean that. I, I mean the exact opposite of that. Okay, Granny has released the butler. She's allowed me to leave my bedroom now. It's very nice of you, Granny. I appreciate that. Let's check out the bathroom here. Why are her sinks made out of purple something or another? What is that? Oh, is this a Fabergé egg? Fabergé, Fabergé egg? You guys know what I'm talking about. They're like super, super expensive eggs that have like diamonds and stuff all over them. We're gonna die. Ooh, why is our own boss so mean to us? Why won't she just let us do our job? She asked me to do this, yet she insists on just beating me up. You're just making this harder on yourself, Granny. I just want to help you out. We should take this vase. You know, she didn't specifically say that she wanted this vase in the sink, but I'm gonna take this vase in the sink. She's behind me. She's behind me right now. I'm stuck. I was stuck on that table. That was very upsetting for me. Where are you? Whee! Okay, there you are. There you are, Granny. There you are, as usual. Let's let's get this in the sink. Okay, good enough. You know what? She didn't say it has to be in the sink. She just said she wants it near the sink. Let's go with that. We are just running in circles now. Playing Ring Around the Rosie with Granny. Oh, she uh, is over there now. Okay, that's real nice. I'm going outside because I like it out here. Her walls are made out of precious gemstones. And I imagine as we're walking around, it's going shing, shing, shing. Because, you know, we're walking on golden coins. I'm going to have to use my imagination on that one. What is that? What is What even is that? I don't know what that means. I've never seen that character in my life. As a butler, I really do want to help Granny, but I just, I can't help but notice that she still walks around with that bat. And that makes it hard for me to, to want to be her friend, <laughs> you know? Makes it real hard. All right, let's grab this cog and drop it off right here at the sink. Whoop! There, good enough. Right next to the, right next to the sink. There we go. I like it. Let's head this direction. Let's see if there is any stuff Hiding in the drawers, okay, is there a hammer up here? Nope, no hammer. All right, let's head into the, oh my gosh, it is so golden in here. Holy moly, this is Granny's secret groom of gold. It's magical. All right, let's go into the secret room. And, ooh, looks like we've got a safe key, okay. And then, ooh, we've got more stuff here. Is that teddy bear made out of gold? Yes, it is, and it has ruby eyes. That's beautiful. We're gonna have to get that teddy down to the sink, but first, Let's go down into the basement. Well, let's open this. Check, see, is there, oh yeah, okay. She painted that, that meat with gold. I don't know if I wanna eat that. Doesn't sound too appetizing to be honest with you. But as her butler, I must prepare the meat that she asked me to prepare. And she wants me to make her a golden caribou leg. That's what I'm going with, caribou. Seems like a expensive thing to get. So that's, that's why I went with it. Oh, hi. Wow. You're, you're, yep, yep, you're coming. Okay, okay, get, why? Why did I stand back up? You see that? I could have made it, but I stood back up. Couldn't get in that little cubby fast enough. The Emerald Room. I could not make it to the Emerald Room. That hurts me. That hurts me a great deal. This is a tough task for a butler like myself. Just imagine Granny. Butler, I want you to collect everything in the house and place it on or near the sink. No exceptions. Such a bossy lady. That's the way she sounds in my head. That's the way elegant and rich Granny sounds in my head. Okay, so keep in mind that she is going to be chasing us because we're, we're carrying the teddy bear. So we're going to want to get rid of this thing as quickly as possible. So let's, let's make a quick escape out this way. Hopefully she is in the secret area. She's like behind us, you know what I mean? Oh, that's not good. That is very, very bad news. Please continue. Ah! Really? Really? Granny, you make this real hard on me. Just trying to be a, a good employee. 
You're making it so hard. Okay. Day five. And then I get fired for good. It's not a great situation. Also, that egg is somewhere around here, isn't it? Where's my Fabergé egg? Nope, no egg here. Okay, that's real, real upsetting. Butler, where are you? Butler, Butler, fetch me some water. Butler. She's very, very annoying. She just constantly, just constantly asking for things, yet continuing to chase me with a bat. Just a wonderful, wonderful lady to work for. I never know exactly what she wants. Fetch me some water. Hit you with a bat. Put all the items near the sink in the kitchen. Hit you with a bat. Get me my teddy bear. Hit you with a bat. It's just, it's, it's a very conflicting message that she's sending to me and I just, I don't like it. So you know what? I'm gonna make my job a little bit easier. I'm gonna make life a little bit easier on her. Butler, bring me my sleeping dots. Of course, Granny. Of course, I have your sleeping darts right here. There, okay, great. There you go. There's your sleeping darts. Thank you. And of course, hit you with the bat. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, uh, what does what does Rich Granny do with her butlers that don't quite meet the the grade? Oh, that. Okay. Great. Good. Good to know. Thank you, Granny. Thank you. So Granny's previous butler didn't quite make it, but I am a well-trained and experienced butler man. So this time it's gonna go much better, but now Granny has a new task for her butler. Butler! Butler! I need your attention. I must, I must, what am I doing? Oh man, oh the Granny. The rich granny voice is too good. Uh, I'm making myself laugh. That's pretty bad. Well, what, 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 what does granny want? <laughs> what? Granny, what, what do you want as your, as your humble butler servant? What do you want? I would like for you to fetch me a bath. But, but granny, the, the water doesn't work upstairs. The, the water and the bath doesn't work. Yes, I understand. You must go to the well and fetch me the bucket from the well and make five trips from the well to the bath and fill it with water for me because I am granny and I am very rich and I pay for you that you're my butler oh, okay granny thank you why, why is granny so weird what is what is that voice oh man all right so this is a good one so she wants me to to get the the bucket. So we're gonna kind of have to use our imaginations here. Uh, but first we have to get the 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 handle. So we have to find the handle. And Granny does not make this easy on her butler. She's hidden the handle somewhere in her house. And yeah, we gotta go find it. Butler! Oh man, that voice that would get real old real fast. So let's stop doing that voice because I may not be able to speak after doing that for too long. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe, maybe it's a good thing. Okay, we gotta find this, this handle to the well. I, I, I think I heard her open a door somewhere, but I don't, I don't know where. So I'm just gonna hang out down here until she decides to make her, whoop, there she is. Okay, never mind. There she is. So, uh, what should we do now? Let's, you know what, let's go over here and, uh, and just, just check everything that, that we can, that we have access to right now. Is there a hammer in here? There's no hammer in here, okay. She's probably gonna head up here, which is kind of scary. Is this another fact? Wealth is the goal of a fool. Virtue is wise. You know what, that's, you know, that's actually some good advice. I agree. Cause look at Granny. Look at the monster she's become. Butler! All these weird tasks that she asks us to make because of all this money that she has. But does she have any friends? I don't think so. I don't think Granny has any friends. And friends are far more valuable than money. All right, let's head into the bathroom, see if there's anything in here. I don't know if there is. I also, yep, there's Granny, okay. Oh, that's not good. Nope, Butler! You stepped in my bear trap. Now I'm going to hit you with my bat. Yes, thank you, Granny. That I we could see that happen. You didn't have to explain it to us while you did it to us. That's 
kind of messed up, honestly. All right, so Granny's locked us up because she wants to make this task as difficult as possible. It's very annoying. So let's, let's just hide under our bed while she lets us out of our butler room. Why does Granny have a key to our butler? That's messed up. I feel more like a prisoner than an employee. And there she is, just being the elegant lady that she is. What are you doing? You're just gonna stand there? She knows I'm in here. She knows what I'm up to. Okay, she's finally leaving. Give us a chance. Really having a hard time finding stuff this time around though. This is a weird one. Normally you can at least find a few items here and there, but man, this time it's really playing, playing tough this time around. Head into the secret area, the golden room. See if there's anything going on in here. Maybe there's something. Sometimes the handle can be in here. No, that's the safe key. Okay, let's open this up. See if there's anything in the teddy room. There is, but it's not really what we're looking for. So let's head down into the basement and uh, let's open up the safe. Also, let's check this, see if anything, nope, nothing over there. Okay, continue down. Okay, open the safe. What do we got? The weapon key. Ooh, interesting. This is very similar to what it was last time, isn't it? The safe key was in the room, the secret room, and then the weapon key was inside the safe. It's really interesting. Also, Granny, where are you? I think she's in the secret area. I don't want her to be in the secret area because I want to get the weapon. So I'm just going to... Knock that over, get her attention. That made no noise. Okay, drop the key then. Do that, then pick it back up, and then wait. Oh, she's coming. Okay, she came a little bit faster than I expected. <laughs> okay, rich granny's been working out. Where's her exercise room? Every, every loaded person needs to have an exercise room, like a full on gym. Where's that? Where's that room, granny? Haven't quite added that addition to your lovely home. Not enough gold on the planet to finish that room. Okay, so let's play it cool here. Wait for her to come upstairs. And let's try not to get hit with her bat this time around. Seems like a pretty smart idea. Oh, she's going downstairs. Okay. Okay, this is not. Nope, that was not how I planned that to go. Definitely not how I planned that to go. I meant to unlock the trap and instead I dropped the crossbow. That was very dumb. Pretty much the worst possible thing I could have done. Oh well. I panicked. Okay? It's not too many times I've stepped into a bear trap. As, as a butler. I've stepped in many bear traps. I've played granny enough to know a thing or two about stepping into bear traps. But as a butler, I've never stepped into a bear trap. It's a different experience. Trust me. No, where are you? Seriously. Where? Granny? Oh, there you are. Okay. Sure. Let's, uh, get her attention. And then shoot her. With golden dark. There. That's how Granny gets to sleep. That's... It's, it's an effective method. She just gets shot with a dart every night. Probably better ways to find a way to, to sleep, Granny. Okay. Uh, let's use the crossbow, trank dart, whatever you want to call it, uh, to knock down the screwdriver. And remember, our main goal is to find the winch handle. So actually, I'm just going to check all this stuff. Okay, there's the melon inside the bathtub again. So that's where everything was last time. So far, I feel like everything is in the same spots as it was last time, which is really interesting because normally, you know, everything moves around. Okay, so I'm going to take this out into the backyard and let's see what's inside of the Fabergé egg. All right, typically you don't want to cut Fabergé eggs in half because they're worth like hundreds of thousands of dollars, but there you go. We just did because we don't know any better. So it's the padlock key, not exactly what I was looking for. So let's just use it since we've got it. There we go. And then we need our crossbow. What happened to our crossbow? And uh, you know what? Just grab the screwdriver and I don't know if Granny is awake yet, so I'm just going to head downstairs and open up the little cubby. I also don't know where I put my crossbow. I lost track. I know it's somewhere over there upstairs, but I don't know exactly where. Oh, it's in the bathroom. Yeah, it's in the bathroom. All right, let's see what's in here. Car key. Okay, perfect. Ooh, we haven't even seen Granny's new ride. What you got down there, Granny? A Maserati? A Bugatti? A Tesla? Ooh, that would be pretty sweet. Let's see what Granny drives nowadays. Oh, a car made of golden tinfoil. Yeah, that's exactly what I expected. 
<laughs> Not exactly the luxury vehicle I was thinking you would be driving there, Granny. Okay, we finally found the winch handle. So now we can finish our tasks as Granny's butler. We just need to get water from the well and then dump it into the bathtub so that she can then take a bath. Okay, let's get the get the bucket. Give me the bucket. We're gonna have to pretend that's full of water and that we can actually pick it up. That's all right. There's actually a hammer inside that bucket, but just ignore that and pretend that we're now carrying a bucket full of water. Now we must go up into the bathroom. Now, once we get the water into the bathtub, we have to get the granny into the bathtub. Now that's gonna be a tricky task. We'll do our best. I have a feeling though, it's gonna require some, some crossbow action. Oh, hi. Okay. Yep. There she is. She's right there where I need to go. I was hoping that I could just run upstairs into the bathroom. is not gonna work out that way, so let's just go this way. Quickly. Faster. She might be heading up here. I'm kind of- Yep, there she is. Okay, this is really annoying. These boxes are in my way, and they're not getting out of my way. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> that was so annoying. Okay, grab the crossbow. Grab the crossbow, please. Please don't know that I'm in here. I think she knows I'm in here. Okay. Can we sneak out? Oh, that's bad. No. <laughs> Normally you don't want to run towards Granny, but I had to. I had to get out. Okay, this is okay. We we filled the bathtub with water. Now we need to get Granny into the bathtub or as close to the bathtub as possible. She wants this. This is what she wants. So, first we grab Crossbow, grab the crossbow! <sighs> granny. Granny, 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 granny. You're not making this easy, lady. You need to take a bath. It's been a few days, you're a little stinky. Do not call me stinky! I have the most expensive perfumes. How dare you? How dare you? Okay, Granny, you're, you're being dramatic. Oh no! Okay, you know what? I've decided that I'm a bad butler. I'm I'm not a good butler, and and Granny's going to punish me severely for that. I guess um, I guess I'm getting my head chopped off. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. No, that's that's fine. I deserve it. You know, I didn't I didn't get the bath ready for you. I didn't get you into the bath. I deserve to have my head chopped off. That's okay. So there you have it, guys. Rich Granny. We got to be her butler for the day. It didn't go very well. I'm I'm not a very good butler. Let's just let's just say that that I I don't have that skill set. That is something that is that's hard to do, and I'm not I'm not capable. I'm sorry that I failed you, Rich Granny. Hopefully you can find a butler that is better than me. But there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.